A lot of us will be entertaining guests over the holidays, and Chef Brian Henry is back with us in studio to show us some simple hors d'oeuvres that will have your guests talking for days. And good to have you back with us. Really great to be here. And I apologize for the voice. I and mean, this is the time of the year where colds that spread easy here at the station. <laughs> I can imagine so. Please don't give me yours. No, no, I'm not contagious anymore. So, Brian, really, you know, when we talk about the holidays, we're thinking about entertaining, and we want to spend less time in the kitchen and more time with our guests. And you've got some great hors d'oeuvres that's going to allow us to do that. Exactly. There's things that you can make up ahead of time, and it makes things very easy to do. Um, we're doing twice baked potatoes here. I like to take things that we usually have in full size on our dinner plates and try to shrink them down a little bit to make uh, nice tasty little bites for us to do. Okay, now you call it twice baked potatoes. So are these first, do you first bake them? These have been baked in an oven uh, for about 25 minutes at 350. Okay. They're just little tiny baby potatoes. And then you actually took out a bit of the potato? You're just using a small spoon or you can do it with a paring knife. Um, it doesn't have to be pretty because you're going to be stuffing it. Okay. So you just carve out a little tiny divot or hole into it. Okay. And you're stuffing this with what? This one here I'm stuffing with uh, cheddar cheese, roasted garlic, a little bit of the mashed potato that I carved out, okay. and some chives. The next one that I'm going to do, we can do brie and cranberries. Brie? Oh, cranberries. very nice. Yeah. And you can make some different herbs in for different flavors and such. Okay. And then what we do once we get them all done, you would pop them back into the oven. Now, if you're pressed for time and such, you can quickly microwave them just for a few minutes. All you have to do is melt the cheese up and get the textures uh, starting to flow a bit. Okay. And Brian, what kind of potatoes are you using? These ones here are just baby Yukons. Okay. Which are very nice. After they bake, they, they stay firm, but the texture is actually quite creamy inside them. And again, I love it because it's just a little bite-sized hors d'oeuvre, so you don't feel guilty if you were to take four or five for that matter because they're different varieties. Exactly, yes. And also using the potato is inexpensive, but it also tends to fill the guests up a little bit yes. more quickly, which is nice as well. Now you, Brian, have your own catering company and you cater a lot of functions. Is this a dish that you would make? This is a dish that I definitely would do for some of my functions. Um, people enjoy it. They're, they are easy to do. The tastes are quite simple. It doesn't require a lot of cleanup afterwards because once your guests eat it, everything is gone. You don't need toothpicks. You don't really have to worry about napkins and such. You don't even have to have a plate for it. It's something that they can just grab and pop in their mouth and away they go. Now, what is this that you're filling the potato with? This one here is cream cheese that I've just run in the food processor with a little bit of smoked salmon. It, uh, it has nice flavors to it, but it gives us a little bit more bang for our buck when it comes to smoked salmon because smoked salmon can be pricey for Absolutely. some people. And so we stretch it a bit with the, uh, with the cream cheese. It goes a little bit further. Which now, is do nice. you do you actually take the smoked salmon, like the pieces that you have in that bowl there, and then you just put it all together in the food processor? Exactly. That simply, yes. If you wish, you can cut it a little bit ahead of time, but um, I usually just toss in the whole pieces with a little bit of the uh, cream cheese and just run it run it through the food processor for about thirty seconds or so. So it gets to the texture that I'm looking for. And again, Brian, when you're doing a dish like this, how long can something like this stay out for before you really need to think about putting it in the fridge? Food should, can stay in the, what we call the danger zone or at room temperature for about two hours. Okay. So an hour and a half is as far as I would take it. Gosh, I'm lucky to be alive today because <laughs> I usually eat three, four hours later. <laughs> All right. Now here's another one to just show you quickly here. It's a tortilla wrap. Okay. Wraps are quite popular with people these days. And, and what kind of tortilla wrap is this? This one here is a sun-dried tomato one. With the festive season coming up, it's quite easy to get the green ones, which are made with spinach, okay. sun-dried tomatoes, and then they have the white ones, which are just made with flour. So we just put some cream cheese on down some smoked salmon and again you can use prosciutto you could use bacon you can use whatever foodstuffs you actually like to have in here okay wow you're I should come to your place you're very generous with your smoked salmon and <laughs> I can be for sure <laughs> and we'll just roll it up I'm just wetting the edge here so that what it'll do is it'll actually stick and seal together okay and I roll it over on top of that and then I let it sit for about 15 20 minutes before I actually get to cutting it okay and then these ones here have been sitting I'm just going to put them over here. Okay, perfect. And our makeshift cutting board today. And our makeshift cutting board today. And what we end up getting is nice little rounds. Look at that. Yeah. Very pretty. And again, because when we're talking about hors d'oeuvres, we're talking about finger food. It's not a meal. Exactly. It's not a meal. Usually in the first hour that your guests arrive, they're going to go through six to seven pieces in that hour. And then after that, they've had a couple of drinks, they start talking and socializing, they back off to about three or four pieces per hour. Oh, well, you don't know me then because I don't back <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, Brian, that looks great. Go. Just like that. 
And again, let's talk a little bit about your catering business because, you know, it is a stressful time of the year for a lot of us. We don't have time to, to be catering. So you do it for people, right, who don't have the time? I do it for people. I'll come into their homes. Uh, I have a, a menu portfolio that I work with. It gives us quite a few selections that we can go through. I sit down with people. I meet with uh, what their needs are, demographic that they're working within, dietary needs and such. And we work around what it is that they're going to need for their function. And do you usually make the food on site or do you do it ahead of time and bring it to them all ready to go? It can be a combination of both. It depends on the, the facilities that I'm going to to do it. Sometimes I'm on islands for some clients and they have limited resources at their, at their cottages and such, so I have to do some things ahead of time. And sometimes I can walk into someone's home and I can do everything there. Great, and again, very simple hors d'oeuvres as you can see here. And again, for the tortilla wraps, as you mentioned, you don't have to just use smoked salmon. You could also use chicken or you can make it a vegetarian. Exactly, you can make it a vegetarian. You can lay the spinach down, you can lay some romaine lettuce down. And when you roll it up, you're gonna get the contrasting colors rolling up within it as well. It's kind of like making sushi, actually. Right, and again, it took you it took you less than six minutes to do all of this, and I guess the, exactly. the key is making sure that you prep ahead of time. Prepping ahead of time is the biggest thing, yes. It's, it's key to the success of anything. Once you have your work done ahead of time, you have all the pieces in place, then you can move forward and execute your evening quite calmly. Well, Brian, as always, thank you so much, and if you want more information, you can visit Brian's website. It is up on the screen right now, and some simple orders that you can make over the holiday season.